Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to run Genshin Impact using crossover and game porting toolkit. So this is going to be taking advantage of Apple's new D3D Metal. However, we're going to be running this through crossover itself. Now I wouldn't say necessarily that this is going to be much different from say using game porting toolkit command line interface or an alternative launcher project like yet another anime game launcher. And also there are some graphical flickering issues that I noticed within the game. However, this crossover version has has probably the greatest chance of being upgraded over time because we can take advantage of the advancements of D3D Metal and of Crossover's own future potential improvements. So this video today is going to go through the entire process from start to finish of installing Crossover, downloading the Windows version of Genshin Impact, running what's called CX Patcher as well to make Crossover compatible with Game Porting Toolkit. So a couple of things to note before we start. This is not an officially sanctioned way of modifying crossover. These changes are not supported by code weavers so please do not ask them for technical support. If you do need help go to the Apple Gaming Wiki Discord. There is a dedicated CX patcher channel there where the developers hang out. Secondly you need to have macOS Sonoma installed. So technically some of these games could run on macOS Ventura but Sonoma is where you're going to get the best game experience. Check the link in the description for my video tutorial on how to dual boot macOS Sonoma and macOS Ventura. You can also do this without losing any of your data. So so once we are logged into macOS Sonoma, what we're going to do is to go ahead and download Crossover. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description. If you do make a purchase, it helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So after we've clicked the link in the description, what we're going to do is to scroll down here. I'm going to press the buy now button. And within buy now, you can enter the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki new. Then you're going to get a 20% discount off the recommended Crossover Plus. Press buy now and go ahead and download Crossover. Or alternatively, what you can do is to press the try now button here and we can try a 14 day free trial just enter your name and email address and then press the download trial now button and that's going to go ahead and download the latest version of crossover which at the time recording is 22.1.1 once that's finished its download we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this into the applications folder and then let go and then within applications we're going to go ahead and find crossover double click here it's asking us if we sure want to open it press open so here we can make use of the crossover free trial by pressing try now or if you bought it already press unlock with purchase info and then enter your username and password. But for now, we're going to use the crossover trial, press try now. And now we're met with the installation screen here. So at this stage, we have crossover installed. And because we're using macOS Sonoma at the time recording, this is in beta. And if you try to use plain crossover and install Steam, then this is going to throw up a whole load of error messages. So what we're going to do is close crossover completely and we're going to download CX Patcher. This will help to fix crossover on macOS Sonoma and we'll load in game porting toolkit support at the same time. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for CX Patcher where we want to do is to download the latest release. At the time recording, this is version 0.2.15. Just go down to the assets section here and then click on cxpatcher.app.zip and then download this into your downloads folder. And if your browser warns you, just press the arrow button here and press keep. Then we're going to navigate to finder into downloads and then double click on cxpatcher.app.zip. And then we're going to take cxpatcher here and then drag and drop this into the applications folder. And then within applications, we're going to double click on cxpatcher. It says it can't be opened. If that's the case, then just scroll down in applications go to utilities, then double click on terminal. We're going to open up a terminal window and then we're going to type in the command XATTR space dash CR space. So make sure there's a space here because we're going to drag and drop CX Patcher onto here. Press return, close this, and then we can double click on CX Patcher. And now this has opened. So next thing we're going to do is to download Game Porting Toolkit. So I'll leave a link in the description for the Apple developer website. Just go ahead and log in. And you can use any free account to access this. This is no longer locked behind a paid developer account. So we just do a search for Game Porting Toolkit, and then we can download the DMG file here and click on this button to download the Game Porting Toolkit DMG. So once this DMG has downloaded, we're going to go into Finder, go to Download, and we're going to mount gameportingtoolkit.dmg. Press the agree button here and then make sure that this is mounted. So now we're going to go back to CX Patcher, press agree and proceed. And then what we're going to do is to click integrate external resources. I want to press locate external resources and then we're going to scroll down and then select game porting toolkit here and then press open. We're also going to enable repatch and upgrade. Next, we're going to go to Finder and then find our crossover app and then drag and drop this into the crossover patcher. Now it says here crossover.app has been successfully patched and now we're ready to open up crossover so double click on crossover so now that crossover has been installed and it's been patched with cx patcher we're going to go ahead and download the windows version of the genshin impact launcher so i'll leave a link to the website in the description we need to make sure that we click on the pc download and then download this windows version exe 
And then once that's downloaded, we're gonna go back to crossover and then click on install and then install an unlisted application. Then we're gonna select our installer source and then we're gonna select the launcher file that we've just downloaded from the Genjin Impact website. Then when we press the install button, it's gonna prompt us to create a new bottle. So I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna give it the name Genshin Impact. I'm gonna make it a Windows 10 64-bit bottle. And then we're gonna find the installer file that we've just downloaded. So select this exe file and then press choose installer and then let that start up. Here crossover is gonna ask for permission to go into downloads folder, press okay. And then the Genshin Impact launcher window is gonna pop up here. We're gonna press install now. It's okay for us to install this into this default location, which is gonna be inside the bottle itself. So if the installer hangs at all, just make sure to check your dock. That's because the VC redistributable window might be hiding behind the launcher window. Just make sure to click on it and then continue the process. And now the launcher window pops up fully and then we're gonna press the get game button. So now I just let that game fully download. So this is the majority of the game data. It's quite a few gigabytes in size. So just wait for that to finish before we can move on to the next step. So here we've got Genshin Impact. We're gonna make sure eSync is turned on and then double click on Genshin Impact to launch. So when you launch for the first time, you might find it won't launch correctly and the bottle hasn't completed its install process. So you can control click on the Genshin Impact icon on your dock and then force quit this and then the Genshin Impact bottle will complete its install within Crossover. So before we move on, I'm just gonna explain how Game Porting Toolkit interacts with Crossover. So basically, if you turn this on, then that means that if we run a DirectX 11 or 12 game, we are gonna be using DXVK Molten VK, which is the standard crossover translation layer. However, if this is off, then we're gonna be using Game Porting Toolkit for DirectX 11 and 12. And if we're using DirectX 9 and below, then we'll be using Wine D3D instead. So if you wanna make use of Game Porting Toolkit, make sure that this is turned off. So sometimes I find that double clicking on the Genshin Impact shortcut within the bottle itself doesn't work. Often I've had better luck control clicking on the shortcut itself and then clicking run with options and then running from there, that'll work a bit better. Also another way to do this is to run command and then we're gonna navigate within the bottle folder structure and I wanna find the actual Genshin Impact exe file and then run this one manually. So for whatever reason, this seems to work a little bit better than trying to run it through the shortcut itself for some reason. So once we've got our launcher up, we can do an update if necessary. You can ignore any kind of crashing wine windows, don't worry about that. It's gonna download any necessary updates. So once the update has completed, we can continue to the next step. Just launch the game again and then the game will launch in full screen. And then once you're in, you can go ahead and enter your username and password. And now we've managed to get into the game. So this is basically the full version of Windows Genshin Impact running on Apple Silicon Mac through Game Porting Toolkit through Crossover as well. And the performance and graphics are pretty good. There are some occasional graphical issues with the kind of flickering textures you might see here and there but overall it's a very playable experience. If you wanted something that might be slightly better than this, you might wanna try yet another anime game launcher. You can find a tutorial for this on my main channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.